I didn't plan to buy him, but what is Nightmare Batman has entered the Secret Sanctuary. Hey guys, welcome back to The Sanctuary. So I am a fan of the Justice League film. It's not perfect, it's not the best superhero film ever made, but there are enough moments in it that I really enjoy that I've watched it several times. It didn't really occur to me to buy any statues related to the film. Um, the Weta line, for example, has its hits and misses. I don't think that the, the Superman likeness is very good to Henry Cavill. But I always liked the likeness on this one. And maybe it's just because you only have to look like, you know, Ben Affleck's mouth and, and chin, pretty much. And eyes, I guess, to really make it worthwhile. But this pose kind of spoke to me. It's very dynamic. I think it's a lot more dynamic than the Queen Studios piece that's coming out. Um, I've always liked it. The price did scare me away. I think the price initially was $11.99. Uh, Weta is now offering a discount off that price on their website. Um, I got this one from Spec Fiction Shop. I went to WonderCon over the weekend in Anaheim and Spec Fiction Shop had a booth there. They were showing this piece and you know how it is. Sometimes you're kind of struggling whether to buy a piece and then you see it in person and you're like, oh crap, now I have to buy it because it looks incredibly awesome. So <laughs> I was actually able to buy it from Todd and pick it up at his uh, warehouse just the other day. So let's take a look at him. All right, he's quarter scale and just under 23 inches tall, 16 and a half inches wide, 15 inches deep, weighs in at 20 pounds. And he's fully sculpted except for two small areas. One is the strap on the rifle here and one is the strap on the binoculars. Other than that, fully sculpted, which uh, differentiates this piece from the Queen Studios piece, which has the fabric coat. And uh, also regarding the coat, I think that the coloring on this one is more correct to the film. The Queen Studios coat has kind of a orangish brownish look to it. Uh, this coat has obviously been in the desert for a very long time, whereas the Queen Studios one Kind of looks like it could be right off the rack. It looks almost too nice. Um, so that's one reason why I, I prefer this piece. I think the likeness is quite good to Ben Affleck. I have a theory. I don't have any proof, but I have a theory that maybe Weta bought the rights to these characters, but perhaps didn't buy the rights to the actor's likenesses. And that's why maybe the Cavill isn't as perfect as it could be because they couldn't do it exactly to his likeness because they didn't have that, that license. That's just a theory, but it would explain um, a lot of things. Give you a good look at this desert base in what appears to be the remnants of a truck. Weta is really good at environmental bases. I mean, this just looks like dirt. Doesn't look like polystone to me at all. There's lots of little touches, lots of bullet casings. You got that tire sticking out of the dirt there. It's really well done. And then you have this black base, looks like an oil slick or something. It's really cool. And this base exists on the other pieces as well in this line. Really well done. I do not know what that is. It looks like batteries, maybe. I can't tell what that is. Maybe one of you guys knows and can tell me in the comments. I don't remember from the movie what that would be. Dirty boots. Really nice details. Got his utility belt there.
looks really nice. Try to give you a good look at this coat, all the folds in the coat, and the sweep of it. And that's really cool. That's really hard to do with fabric. So I can see why they went with sculpted to make it look this good. There are some, um, there are a few sculpted capes like this one that look really good. But for the most part, you're going to find statue makers using fabric for this sort of piece. I keep coming back to that portrait. Looks great. All right, let's uh, switch out to the other configuration. I suppose you could call this the sandstorm configuration. It's kind of cool. I'm not sure that I'll use this portrait very much, but I might every once in a while just to switch things up. And then the other change is that instead of the rifle, he's holding this Joker playing card in his right hand. So those are fun options, but I do like the rifle just because it's so rare to have a Batman piece with a gun these days, because uh, DC doesn't allow it, at least in North America, that uh, darn it, I'm gonna use it if I have it. <laughs> give you a 360 with this portrait. It's pretty nice. Tell me uh, in the comments which portrait you guys prefer, which one you would display. The goggles are nice and dirty. You can see the dirt on his, on his mask there. There has been uh, some collectors receive this piece with the coat damaged. And sometimes it's just a corner is chipped off. Uh, in one case, someone said the whole thing was split. So, um, that's bound to happen when you have a, a coat this big, uh, but they did a pretty good job packaging it. This one, luckily, was 100% fine, so I'm very happy about that. So this falls into the category of um, it's a one-off. Like I said, I'm not going to collect any other pieces from this line. And for a long time, I had a hard time justifying one-offs in my collection. And I gave up on that strategy a long time ago. Now, if I like it, I like it more than a piece that I already have in my collection, because I'm at the point now where I have to sell something to buy something, then I'm not going to pass on a one-off. I'm going to go for it. So that's why I bought Rebel Terminator. That's why I bought Red Sonia. And that's why I bought Nightmare Batman. I'm going to display him next to Swamp Thing here on this shelf. They don't really have much of a connection. <laughs> I mean, Nightmare Batman obviously has no connection to Swamp Thing. Batman does have a connection because there's at least one excellent story where Swamp Thing um, invades Gotham. One of my favorite Alan Moore stories. So they're going to share that shelf together, and I'm going to be very happy to have them together because I think they're both two great pieces. Just really nice. You've got two options at least on where to get this. You can still order it directly from Weta. You can also order it from Spec Fiction Shop. And I'll put a link in the description for this video where you can order it. That looks cool. I like that. Are you tempted? 
I bet some of you are. Oh, something else about this piece. This was initially supposed to have an edition size of 1,000. In fact, if you look at the base, uh, it still says 1,000. But they have reduced that edition size by half. The, uh, the brown shipper says 500. So that's a pretty, um, pretty dramatic reduction of edition size. So whereas this is available now, I could see this being sought after in the future after it sells out. It's one of the better Batman pieces I've seen. I mean, there are so many Batman pieces. Um, I have three. I've got Samurai Batman and then what I've always called Hunchback Batman from Sideshow and now Nightmare Batman. And I've got another one on order. I've got the one-third scale Prime 1 Battinson uh, on pre-order as well. So there's really no reason for me to buy this except that I really like it, damn it. And so I bought it and I'm very happy with my purchase. So clearly I do recommend this piece. I think it's really, really nice. Um, I had the benefit of seeing it in person before I decided. Hopefully this video helps you decide whether you want to add this to your collection. I forgot to mention you do get this nifty little plaque. It just says Zack Snyder's Justice League. I probably won't display that myself. I'm not really crazy about having plaques. I know what it's from, so I don't really need that. But yeah, it's a great piece. Um, I always keep an eye on Weta. Some of their stuff is great. Some of their stuff is eh, not so great, but they put out a lot of stuff. And whether it's Tomb Raider or Lord of the Rings or Justice League, you never know what they're gonna come up with next. So that's it guys, I'll be back actually really quick with a review of the one-third scale Captain America from Legendary Beast, which just came in. Uh, Thor's been waiting for him. They got lots to catch up on. So I'll be back with that review really soon. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you on Facebook. I'll see you on Statue Forum and at a convention near you. Hopefully, I got Monster Palooza coming up. That's going to be a damn good show. Can't wait for that. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.